Bangladesh is exceptionally rich in its 25 centuries of archaeological heritage. Our archaeological treasures have different facets, which include the small artifacts of prehistoric days, as well as the impressive monuments of the historical era. The uniqueness of their forms testifies to the diversity of race and religion of the ancient people credited for these historic sites, the vestiges of the Hindus, Buddhists, Christians, Muslims and the Neolithic people. Though the archaeological remains are spread all over Bangladesh, the country's northern and eastern regions are richer with the oldest treasures. Of the historical age, the earliest archaeological remains are at Mohastan in Bogura district and Wari Bhateshwar in Noshingdi district. The extensive archaeological remains in the north represent Pundranagar, the earliest urban centre of Bengal. The provincial capital of Pundravardhan Bhokti was built here by the Mauryas in the 3rd century BC over the earlier remains of 4th and 5th century BC. The city further flourished in the succeeding regimes of the Guptas, the Senas and the Muslims. The oblong fortified city measures about 1700 by 1400 meters and is protected by walls on its four sides. The city's defense was reinforced by a moat on its north, south and west, while the Korotwa, then a mighty river that is almost dried up now, protected the eastern side. The northeastern corner of the city has a sprawling site, which is locally known as Jahazghata, meaning an anchorage. The city also houses the King Porshuram's palace. On the double bend of the Korotua and outside the northern rampart wall of the city are the remains of the Govindabhita temple, a complex built over four major phases, commencing from the Gupta period. A kilometer southwest of the citadel, there are the spectacular remains of Gokul Mer, traditionally known as Lokindar Mer or Behular Bashurkar. And beyond the Boshubihar is a complex of a twin monastery and a temple. Eastern region lies a city of the early historic period, the twin village of Wari Boteshwar in the district of Norshingli. This archaeological site is rich with a wide variety of architectural remains and cultural relics. Most spectacular among the early medieval remains is the huge temple and monastery known as Shompur Mohabihara at Paharpur in Naugao district. One of the world cultural heritage sites in Bangladesh, this second largest single monastery south of the Himalayas was established by Dharmapala, the great Pala emperor in the 8th century. The oblong monastery measures 281 by 280 meters and consists of 177 monastic cells in its four wings with an imposing gateway complex in the middle of the northern wing. In the center of the vast open yard of the monastery stands a lofty shrine. A mandapa and an antechamber were built on each side in the form of projection. The 
the ambulatory passage with the parapet wall runs parallel to the outline. Apart from the central shrine in the courtyard, there are the remains of many other ancillary buildings. The important ones include a number of votive stupas, a model of central temple, the five Bonchovedi shrines, kitchen and refectory, administrative buildings and wells. The basement wall of the temple is embellished with 63 stone images. The wall is decorated on the outer face by projecting cornices of ornamental bricks and terracotta plaques set in panels. These plaques represent the folk art of the then Bengal, covering images of Buddhist and Brahminical deities, mythology, divine, semi-divine and living beings, as well as fauna and flora. A cluster of structural remains locally called Satya Pirbhita stands about 300 meters east of the monastery. The Bhita consists of a Tara temple and a large number of votive stupas around it. A more ancient temple of a similar architectural configuration has been exposed at Bharat Vaina in Jessore district. This striking style of temple architecture largely influenced the subsequent architectural development of the Far East. A similar monastery, known as Shalbon Vihara, has been exposed in the Lalmai Moinamoti hill range in Kumilla district. It is yet another quadrangle building, each arm measuring 168 meters. The Vihara consists of 155 monastic cells in its four wings and a central temple in an open courtyard. This monastery was built and rebuilt in six successive phases. The 16-kilometer Lalmai Moinamati hill range also houses the prominent Buddhist cultural remains like Rupban Mura, Itakola Mura, Anundu Vihara, Charpatra Mura and three Ratna stupas at Kotila Mura. Lower portion of a life-size stucco image of Buddha has been discovered in the central cell of the temple of Itakola Mura while the remains of the corbelled roof of an image chamber exists in the temple of Rupban Mura. The corbelled roof is one of the earliest evidences of roof structure in Bangladesh. This temple accommodated four images on its four image chambers in the cardinal directions. Of them, only a life-size stone icon of Buddha has been discovered from the eastern image chamber. Other important discoveries from the hill range are the life-size bronze Dhyani Buddha and a Basra Satya. Besides a large number of the cultural objects like miniature Buddha in bronze, semi-precious stone beads, terracotta plaques, terracotta beads, votive stupas and household objects have been discovered from the city of ancient Buddhist civilization. The art and architecture of the Muslim period, covering more than five centuries, may broadly be divided into two distinct phases, the pre-Mughal and the Mughal. During the pre-Mughal period, art and architecture of the country developed a strong indigenous trend, clearly manifested in an exuberant surface decoration on monuments with this region's traditional art of terracotta 
and the introduction of a string curvilinear roof form drawn from the common thatched huts. During this period, the famous cities of Gaur in Chapai Nawabganj, Khalifatabad in Bagirhat, Muhammadabad in Chennaida and Shonargao in Dhaka were developed in different parts of the region. Though the main city of Gaur is now part of India, a considerable portion of its suburbs still remains in the territory of Bangladesh. The most important monument of this suburb is Chota Shona Moshjid, which is also known as the Gem of Gold. The present name is derived from the quantity of gilding employed in the ornamentation of the 15 domed mosque built with brick and stone. Other notable monuments that still exist in Bangladesh are Khania Dighi Mosque, Dhoni Chok Mosque and Darasbari Madrasha and Mosque. Of them, the profuse decoration of Darasbari Mosque is unique in this region. Khalifatabad, now known as Bagirhat in the southwestern part of Bangladesh, was founded by the saint ruler Uluk Khan Jahan in the 15th century. The saint general adorned the city with numerous buildings, mosques, roads, bridges and large tanks. Unfortunately, most of them have disappeared with the passage of time. The city centered round a magnificently built 77 domed mosque, popularly known as the Shat Gumbaj Mosque, which is the largest of its form in the country. Other massive buildings like Bibi Begni Mosque, Shingar Mosque, Chunakola Mosque, Khan Jahan's tomb, Nine Domed Mosque and Rana Vijaypur Mosque in the city bear a striking resemblance to the more famous Tughlaq architecture near Delhi. These monuments of Khalifatabad and the monastery of Paharpur were recognized as World Heritage Sites by UNESCO in 1985. The recently discovered ruins of the city of Muhammadabad at Barubajar in Jinaida district are not very far from Khalifatabad. It is said that while on his journey from Gaur to Khalifatabad, Khan Jahan stayed for some time in the Muhammadabad area and built this city with a large number of mosques, graveyard complexes, ports and more than 100 ponds. Among them, Shat Gachia Mosque, Monohor Mosque, Golakata Mosque, Shukur Malik Mosque, 
नूनगोला मॉस्क नमाजगांव ग्रेवयार्ड जोड़ बांगला मॉस्क गोड़ार मॉस्क एंड पीर पुकुर मॉस्क डिजर्व स्पेशल मेंशन Shonargaon, also known as Shubarnogram, traces its origin to the pre-Muslim period. The city emerged with the establishment of one of the capitals of Bengal here in the 14th century. Shonargaon was a walled city with tanks, streets and bazaars. Shonargao is adorned with a bounty of architectural work. But there now exists only some scattered remains like Goaldi Mosque, Panam Bridge, Tomb of Pachpir and the Tomb of Giyasuddin Azam Shah, the only known tomb of an independent sultan of Bengal. Subsequently, a township named Panam City was developed in a portion of Shunargao in the late 19th and early 20th century. Rows of beautiful and ornamented houses of a prosperous Hindu business community lined the streets of Panam City. The capital of Mughal Bengal was shifted to Dhaka from Raj Mahal by Subedar Islam Khan in 1608. The Mughal brought in here with them the magnificences of their architectural beauty. Prince Azam and Nawab Shaista Khan initiated establishment of Lalbagh Fort or Kella Aurangabad here in the second half of the 17th century. Apart from the massive gateways, this incomplete fort has its Darbar Hall and includes a mosque and Bibipori's tomb. Many other forts were built during this period at Hajigonj, Shonakanda in Narangonj town and Idrakpur in Munshigonj town to protect Dhaka from the Mug and Portuguese pirates. By the end of the 16th century, a uniquely Bengali style of temple architecture and sculpture emerged, bearing the Hindu artistic expression of a new socio-cultural and religious revolution. Most of the temples here were built in the 18th and 19th centuries. Kantonagar Temple in the Najpur district is the best example of the temple architecture of the period in Bangladesh. This three-storied Navaratna temple is profusely decorated with terracotta motifs depicting scenes from Mahabharata, Ramayana, as well as contemporary social images and vegetal representation.
These are only some selected examples of our glorious heritage. Many archaeological sites, particularly of early historic and medieval periods, are still awaiting excavation. Bangladesh has been preserving and protecting these national and international heritage sites for enlightening the posterity. The nation is also pursuing many facelifting programs in these heritage sites for attracting tourists. <laughs>